out why the iPhone 10 is still an insane value of a phone in 2021. Now one of the things that I've looked at probably since last year, the year before and the year before when this thing came out, is the fact that this thing, the design wise, is something that's going to be holding up insanely well. When you look at phones like an iPhone SE 2 or an iPhone 8 Plus, because of the design of those phones, they're not really going to be holding up that well in the long term. So that is a very important thing to keep in mind. So when you have a phone like an iPhone 10, I said back in 2017 that you were going to be future proofed for probably like five to seven years in my opinion. And it's looking like that may be the case. With the iPhone 13 that's coming out in September, it's looking like the notch is still there and it's still looking like it's going to be roughly the same size. It's going to be decreasing in size though, so the notch is going to be a little bit smaller. But the feeling of the phone, the look of the phone for the most part still is almost exactly the same if I'm being honest. The body of this phone is still something that's extremely awesome. It feels really really good in the hand. You have glass back stainless steel bands like it feels really good and especially when you consider the price tag of this phone which is only like I think like last time I checked it's less than $300 in some places. That is an insane deal in my opinion and it's almost like a no-brainer. If you have to go pick up a phone you're coming from like an iPhone 5 or something like that getting an iPhone 10 is a really good deal in my opinion. Now as I mentioned before, the screen of this thing is still one of those areas that this phone is killing it in. When I look at the iPhone 10 display and I look at something like an iPhone, you know, 11, if I look at like an iPhone 12 display, there's very little difference and in some cases I kind of do prefer the iPhone 10's display even though it's a little bit smaller. It looks better in most times than whenever I'm using that specific display. So I think that's another really important thing to keep in mind. So I think think just besides the notch and the feeling in the hand, the screen itself with the OLED capability still has Face ID, no 90Hz or 120Hz like any other iPhone. When compared to the iPhone 10 to these other iPhones, the newer ones, there's very little difference if I'm being completely honest. They're almost exactly the same thing. Now one of those areas where I would probably recommend people to go and update their phone to is the performance area. And with the iPhone 10, you're still getting a really good performing phone. Like this is not a bad performing phone by any means it's going to be extremely good like it's not going to be slow at all one thing that i've always tested whenever i got an iphone 10 or what really whenever i get any phone i always compare it to an iphone 10 most recently with the galaxy s 21s and even though these newer phones are faster it doesn't necessarily mean that these older phones are slower you know it just means that these phones are just not as fast in my opinion as the galaxy s 21s like yes they're slower than these newer phones but they're not slow phones they're still pretty fast phones and as long as you're not comparing them side by side to another iPhone 12 Pro or any other device for that matter, you're going to be perfectly fine and I really don't think it's that big of a deal. As I mentioned before, any single thing I've done with my iPhone 10, I've had a pretty solid experience with it and when you consider the price tag as well as the feeling in the you know hand of the specific devices, it's going to be a solid phone for sure. So that is honestly one of my favorite things about this device as well. And another thing, I mean to top it all off, I mean this thing's still going to be getting software updates for a very long time, probably within the next two years that's when we're going to kind of start seeing this thing be outdated but the you know the iPhone success is still supported the iPhone 7 is probably going to get iOS 15 the iPhone 8 then could be getting iOS 16 and that's when we could see this phone getting unsupported but from what I've heard and just kind of my assumptions I'm pretty sure this thing is going to be getting the same software updates as the iPhone 10s. I've been saying that for a very long time and I'm pretty sure that's what's going to end up happening so that's really pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything like that let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.